There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my in my virtual StreamYard studio by the CEO owner of Blue Ox, Andy. What's going on, Andy? How are you, brother? Hey, Jay. Yeah, I'm great, mate. Thank you so much for uh, connecting and, yeah, looking forward to speaking to your community. So the best part about Andy's company, Blue Blocks, is that I am wearing their nighttime blue light blockers, which are absolutely phenomenal. And I've been wearing them for a week now. And I will just go ahead and let all of you guys know that watch the Jay Campbell podcast that I am entering into a relationship with Andy and his crew and his company, and they have all sorts of other amazing things that we'll be talking about on this show, uh, including a miniature red light. Um, how would you call it? It's a mini, but it has infrared and red light. A lot of people have seen some of the similar, smaller ones. I know Juve has one. I forget what they're called, but a lot of there are a lot of them out there. But yours is differentiated because you guys have infrared light in it too, correct? We do, yeah. And we've also, um, a lot of the issue with red light therapy out there is it flickers. Right. Flicker is so bad for the nervous system. And we've removed that. We've removed the EMF. And we've also got the dual chips in there, which is infrared and red light. And you can have them both on at the same time. You can have one on as opposed to the other. You know, it's uh, limitless, these things. So The funniest yeah. part about this right now is like, I'm looking around like to pick it up. And I'm like, oh my God, my wife took it again. My, my wife, so, so you know you're in business. But my wife is using your technology. Love that, yeah. Once, once it's they pick my ear. It. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. It's the best testimonial, I tell you. <laughs> oh, I mean, honestly. And so anyway, guys, uh, for you guys that are, you know, loyal Jay Campbell fans and followers and audience and whatnot, I will be emailing you guys with all of their stuff because Andy has a bunch of amazing technology. And at the end of the show, uh, you know, we'll go through the website for a second and he can just kind of talk about all the different things. They also have a sleep uh, you know, whatever you would call it, like uh, glasses or almost like a mat to block the uh, blue light. I mean, so bro, I'm like so proactive and talking about electromagnetic frequencies and the harm, as you know, better than me, the planet that is happening to the planet. You know, I'm big on Arthur Furstenberg's book, you know, the electric rainbow. I mean, like people don't really understand how bad electromagnetic energy and frequencies are essentially radiating biological life all across this planet. So if you're not like, you know, taking proactive measures, wearing blue light glasses, wearing, you know, the amber light, you know, the dimmers at night, you know, uh, taking obviously effect to do stuff to your bed, your sleep hygiene. I mean, there's, it's crazy how little I see people really truly understanding this, but I mean, the reason that sleep is so disrupted, as you know, now across the planet is because of these EMFs and, you know, people have their phones in their bedrooms. And I mean, it goes on and on and on. I mean, I'm so crazy about it. You know, one of my good friends, Justin France, and he owns a company called EMF rocks, you know, and he makes crystal grounding bags. You're probably familiar with the company. And like, I have them in every room of my house, right? Like, I've got them below my computer. I mean, they're everywhere, right? I've got them up here. So it's like, there's nothing to me and that's why you're on the show and you're going to have complete ownership of this uh, spectrum here in a second, but it's, it's so critically important for people to truly recognize how bad EMF again, the frequency is to just damaging and disrupting our, our life. Correct. Absolutely. And a lot of people think that, um, you know, EMF is, you know, your 4g, your 5g, your Wi-Fi, your microwaves, and, and that's correct. But you know, blue light and light is on that spectrum as well. Yes. And it, it needs to be, you know, certain factors need to be taken into consideration of, about how to manage light hygiene and, and really clean up um, the light in your life, really. So let's talk about blue light. Now, let me just set you up. Now, a lot of people don't know this, and this is mind-blowing stuff. And I didn't know this until Justin told me this. 
People that drive, so this is crazy stuff, but this is all true. This is fact checkable, wherever the fact checkers are. People who drive electric vehicles, Tesla, any of them, they're shortening their lifespan. Yeah. The, the, you know this, right? Like when I say this, people look at me like, what? What are you talking about, bro? You got your tinfoil hat on? Uh, no. The energy that is coming out of a Tesla or an electric BMW or really any of them is literally detrimental to biological life. It is literally, because as you know, there's no Faraday cage in those cars. Mm -hmm. So that energy that you get in every day, which is very powerful, is hitting your internal organs, your brain. I mean, I, I, I mean, dude, when I heard this, I, I mean, I've never driven, you know, electric vehicles, so I wasn't as concerned as like some of my friends, but you know, where I live in Southern California, everybody has a fucking Tesla, bro. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, dude, like, do you understand what is happening? You know, and again, everybody's like, oh, but you know, it's alternative energy and Elon Musk. And it's like, no. <laughs> so, so it's kind of weird because again, a lot of people really do think that like Teslas and electric cars are like, you know, greening the world and doing all this great stuff, but it's really not beneficial for biological life. So with all that said, you know, talk a little bit about blue light. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's interesting you mentioned about um, cars as well, because not only it, the EMF inside a Tesla or an EV is, is obviously, you know, extremely damaging to our cells, mitochondria and yeah. biological health. But the actual light that's shining from the sun through your window is also damaging your yeah, health it because it's not being received by your body directly from the sun. The window is actually changing the spectrum right. of light, um, blocking certain <laughs> invisible and visible frequencies damaging the cells as well. So I always drive with a window open where I can as well and not in an EV. So um, that's a, a bit of advice for people there. And don't sit near a window unless it's open. That is a killer for your health as, as well. So I guess blue light can be categorized into, into two, um, two sections, right? You've got natural light. So that's from the sun. The sun is full of blue light. You know this because when you look at the sky on a sunny day, what color is it? It's blue. Right. And blue light's great during the day. Makes you feel alert, makes you feel awake. Right. boosts your dopamine levels and increases your cortisol levels, which are essential during the day to keep you active and, and alert. The issue comes when we invented something in the sort of 80s and 90s called light emitting diode, so your right. LEDs. Right. And what they did was they moved away from this incandescent sort of warm red orange type lighting and they moved towards this more energy efficient blue field lighting in LEDs. And we started switching those on in artificial light after sunset when blue light naturally isn't present. And it all comes back to something called a circadian rhythm, Jay, as you'll know, right. which we evolved under the sun for millions of years. All animals have them. And it sends messages to this clock system in our brain that it's daytime. Okay, Keep the energy levels high. Keep the cortisol levels high, the dopamine, the serotonin. And it's perfect for during the day for animals like humans to, to exist. And then as the sun set in the evenings, our circadian rhythm would get more messages from light all through the eyes, and through the skin, basically saying, right, it's nighttime. Let's reduce those cortisol levels. Let's increase the melatonin levels and let's start relaxing for the evening. Let's get the campfire on, the red light, the orange light relaxes, restores, soothes, gets you sleepy. But what with the advent of, of artificial lighting, we now have perpetual daytime. We have all these artificial suns around us 24 hours a day and they're sending the same messages to our brain and us our body clock to basically say it's daytime when it's maybe 10 o'clock at night 11 o'clock at night our cortisol levels are always high our melatonin levels are low we're getting crappy sleep which is leading them to you know lack of autophagy lack of apoptosis right. all that sort of cellular clearance it's leading to sleep deprivation, which increases insulin resistance, which leads us to gain weight, diabetes, and the, and the list is endless. And, you know, it's much like a bad diet junk light, okay? You can eat the bad diet probably for 10 years and feel somewhat okay, but then you start seeing the problems. The cracks start appearing. You start getting major issues as you age. So it's something that really needs to be taken seriously. And the good thing is, you know, with, with circadian rhythms and blue light, you don't need to go back to living outside, living like an ancestor, like, like you know, basically 
selling your house and living in a tent somewhere. You can biohack this stuff, okay? You can bring in products to your environment. There's free things you can do. You can spend more time outdoors, for instance. You can wear good quality blue blocking glasses. Right. You can get red light therapy in the evenings and the mornings. And you can really manage that light environment that you're in to really you know, optimize and balance out your hormones and keep your circadian rhythm functioning. Are you currently suffering from a testosterone deficiency? Are you already using therapeutic testosterone? If you are, go to tottdecoded.com forward slash 10 dash questions and find out the top 10 questions you need to be asking your doctor about therapeutic testosterone. These are critical questions to ask your doctor. If they can't answer them, you need to find another doctor. I mean, dude, you know your shit, man. That's all I can say, man. I don't talk to a lot of people that know your stuff. So like you do, I mean, obviously there's tons of guys in the biohacking space that talk about yeah. the stuff that you're talking about, but you true master. And honestly, I didn't know you, you know, it's, it's kind of weird, right? Like we spoke in emails, you sent me this amazing stuff and I'm like, I'm going to have a podcast with you because I just sensed your energy. And now I just listen to you. I'm like, now I know why you're on the Dick <laughs> Campbell podcast, bro. I'm a nerd, I'm afraid. I, I No, I mean, dude, that's so am I. So am I. But like, I mean, honestly, like, I literally, you know, be quite honest, because you know what is going on in my personal life in the background, as I told you, I didn't do any homework on you at all. I, I other than looked at your company and started using your products and knew your shit was amazing. But I didn't know you at all. So like when you showed up today, anything could happen. And now I just heard you and I'm like, that's why he's on the Jay Campbell podcast, because it's all energy now at this point in the universe. Okay, so all that is true. Um, what can people do? You know, and again, obviously I have a very advanced, let's say to speak audience. So it's not like these people don't know what you're talking about and are looking at you with their, you know, jaw on the ground. I mean, like what can people do right now other than, you know, take the precautions that you just kind of talked about, um, to really, how's the best way to, to put it, to defend themselves in this 2022 age where, like you said, dude, like, radiation. I mean, I mean, I think about, and I know you know this, if you're in a cubicle in an office, like a lot of people are, and you're sitting under those lights, imagine what is happening to your cellular health, just having to be there every day. So obviously we can talk all day about the things that you guys have created to use as a defense, but like for somebody like you, who's as knowledgeable as you are, like, what can you also tell people about, you know, not defense mechanisms, but proactive moves that they can take right now in their life to really protect themselves and insulate themselves as much as possible. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, so so many options. Um, the, the, the number one best thing that anyone can do, right, for their circadian rhythm is watch the sunrise every day, okay? Exactly. Grounded to the earth, accepting that human resonance into you, Beautiful. you know, reducing your inflammation. That yeah. is the number one thing that is non-negotiable. Doesn't matter if it's cloudy outside, raining, right dark watch that sunrise if you're waking up before the sunrise wear your blue light blocking glasses until the sun rises always think ancestrally if my yeah. ancestors got up before sunrise you know six hundred thousand years ago whatever what light would they have seen it would have mm -hmm. been dark it would have been red light orange light from the campfire so wear the right. glasses that you're wearing now until that sun rises you only need sort of you know two five minutes something like that in the morning but just let the first light you see pass through your eyes, be from the sunrise, and then your circadian rhythm is entrained correctly for the day. It can tell the time correctly. If you look at your phone first thing in the morning, the, 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 the amount of light and the concentration of light which is in your phone basically yeah. signals to your brain that it's midday, it's solar noon. So you miss out on all that beneficial hormonal process that is caused by the frequencies of light in the sun in the morning if the first thing you see is your phone. So get outside, open your window, look out, whatever it may be, and then you can go about your day, right? When you're working in an office or working at home, you want to be outside as much as possible. People, you know, not so much maybe these days, but, you know, people go out for smoke breaks like in the, in the morning and afternoon, terribly bad for your health. Right. Go out for a sun break, you know? Go out for just five, 10 minutes, walk around the block, come back in, and you're, you're going to get different types of messages from the sun as the sun moves throughout the day. Um, well, the earth moves, obviously, but um, the sun changes its position in the sky throughout the day um, to release and suppress certain neurotransmitters and hormones. Now, if you stay under the artificial light all day, 
which is the same as what's emitted from your phone, like all those office lights, your body is just going to get continual message. It's solar noon, it's solar noon all throughout the day. And you're just going to be pent up, you know, stressed, anxious, depressed, because all your cortisol levels are going to be jacked through the roof throughout the day rather than going up in the mornings for the morning, morning awakening response and then slowly dipping throughout the day naturally. Eat your lunch outside, you know, even if it's raining, sit under cover, just be out in that in those natural elements, taking in the um, the light. It's really interesting, and this is going off on a slight tangent, but the type yeah. of light you eat your food under will determine how your body partitions those macronutrients. That's absolutely true. So it's, it's crazy stuff. You know, Bill Lagacos is one that talks all about this, chronobiology, um, and he's been researching it for, for years. Um, and then during the day, you want to be sort of balancing blue light, right? So as I said, blue light's good during the day. So people would go, well, what do, I don't need to do anything then. I can just stare at my laptop and I'll be on my phone and I'll be fine, which is further from the truth, right? Because number one, I've told you that that would keep your circadian rhythm thinking it's midday, solar noon all the time. But also the other bad thing is that blue light from the sun is essentially the same blue light that what's in your computer screens and phones with one big difference. The sun also contains red light. Your computer screens and your phones doesn't, okay? Yeah. So blue light from the sun or from artificial sources will always make you feel alert and raise cortisol levels. But what it also does is it causes cellular damage, okay? Because it's a HEV, it's high energy visible light. It causes cellular damage. Now, nature is always fantastic because there's always an antidote to this. And that antidote is the red light that's found in the sun right. at the same time. Right. Red light is the opposite to blue light. It's long wavelength. It's healing. It's restoring. It repairs damage caused right. by blue light. So what happens when we're on our computer all day? We get sore, dry eyes. We get itchy skin. We get fatigue because we're getting all the blue light making mm -hmm. us feel alert and awake. Right. But we're getting all the cellular damage, but none of the repair. So I always say balance your computer screen, right? You can wear blue light filtering glasses, which take down the blue light but also surround yourself with red light. So I have a light here that is devoid of blue light. It's an amber light that's sat right behind my computer screen right now. Um, and that's blasting me with the, these amber orange frequencies of light, whilst the blue light from the screen is coming out as well. So I've got this full balanced spectrum of light coming out at me. So I've biohacked my workstation. My you know, blue light dehydrates your skin. My skin feels fresh, right. it feels great. And I'm keeping my circadian rhythm balanced. My body doesn't think it's solar noon. And my body clock is functioning correctly. Um, so those are probably the, the key things to do with, with light during the day. When it comes to the evening, it gets a little bit more, not difficult, but just a little bit more, um, you know, out there in terms of what you need to do. You so have you to be to more anal retentive is the best word. Yeah, to exactly. Because you're not meant to get any blue light, right, after sunset. <laughs> and you really don't want it on your skin as well. Because right. there's, there's been studies that have come out that the opsin receptors in the eye that sense blue light called melanopsin right. is actually present in your skin as well. Right. So you could be wearing, you know, the glasses you're wearing, these glasses, these mel these these block everything in that melanopsin disruption zone um, and the melatonin disruption zone. But if your skin's still exposed to blue light, then you're still going to have um, subpar melatonin production. So what we what we suggest is that you have red light in your um, in your lamps, right, in your house. Exactly. So after sunset, you just have red lights on. Um, you have maybe salt lamps next to your TV that balances that blue light. I was light. literally just going to make that comment. So think about – and by the way, you're way too advanced for most people. But like – and I'm with you 100% agreement. But like – Dude, think about the TVs. Yeah. Think about these high definition boxes or screens or LEDs or whatever the hell they are, plasmas. And dude, that I mean, you talk about destroying people. And I know you know this. And like this happened to me. And this isn't from TV because I don't even watch TV, but like hmm. my vision, I used to have fighter pilot 2010 vision and screens and these, you know, doing what I do. Dude, my I can't see anything. I had to go get gra glasses to, you know, to watch television, to go to a theater. Like I want to take my daughters to the movie tonight, probably to go see Morbius. Yeah. And I can't even see. And I know it's all from the blue light, you know, and there's a guy, there's a doctor in um, New Mexico, Sam Byrne. He's out there. He's very vigilant and, you know, vocal. 
but you know, he's like, Oh, you don't need it, dude. I can give you these exercises and you could take, you know, act, act stance in and all these different things. I'm like, yeah, that's great, bro. But I mean, at the end of the day, most people are like, fuck, I can't see. I need to buy glasses or get, you know, you know, what's the, the laser LASIK surgery. Yeah. But dude, it's, it, it really is true. I mean, that to me is like the most proof, the proof positive or the proof in the pudding is that blue light is damaging the optical nerve, the retina, you know, the cells around it. You know, you just talked about a lot of that in the skin. But I mean, it's so clear. And I, I, I think about all these people, dude, who are literally sitting there like drones at night, yeah. watching their fucking television, all melting right. their brains anyway. But they're being poisoned from the light. It's so bad, eh? And then and it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, the funny thing is, right, is once you start, and you'll, you'll, you'll get this, right? Once you start wearing blue blockers after sunset, and you then suddenly don't wear them after sunset. Oh my God, you're you're blind. burning your eyes out. Literally blind. Yeah. I, I mean, dude, look, it, it's literally hilarious because for you, it's morning right now, but like yeah. 90% of the people that come on my podcast are not wearing blue blockers. I'm, I literally am like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Like, this is serious business. Like, you're damaging yourself right now. Oh, I don't do podcasts just every now and then. You're still damaging your eyes. I mean, I've been so vigilant about this for four years. I mean, every time I'm telling you, dude, like I talked to some impressive people and they're not wearing them. And I'm like, uh, what are you doing? Like yeah. get a pair. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, like I'm, I'm going to be selling just influencers, you know, your stuff from now on, like, uh, here, I'm going to touch yeah. you. Go buy these things for 15% <laughs> off. Get them right now. Buy three pairs. Buy one for your wife and your kids. Oh, no, it's such a basic thing, thing, I do this so much. Such so a much. basic thing to do. Yeah, so many people don't don't get it or don't do it. And it's, you know, it's 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 akin to like, you know, spending your life eating, you know, soybean oil, canola oil and all right. that crap and, right. you know, take away greasy food and right. then going like, yeah, I'm all good. It's, it's no problem. It's like, it's the same as that, you know, it's the it same is, as smoking, dude. not wearing this, this kind of product after, after sunset. And it's just, but it's so easy to get hold of. And so it's easy like brushing to- your teeth though, by the way, too, right? Like it's something yeah. that you train yourself to do and it becomes a regular part of your life. And honestly, I, bro, I'm not kidding you. My kids will tell you, if I walk away because I'm distracted in the middle of the day from my computer screen and then I come back up and I'm like, where are my glasses? Like it's yeah. a, it's a circus for me to like emotionally, I will not get in front of my screen unless I'm protected. I, I mean, literally that's where I've gotten myself to. And it's the same thing at night. I mean, obviously I put these on a little earlier than I normally do. Cause these go on about six fifteen my time, which, you know, when we got, when we started, this it was like four Oh three or something. Yeah. But I, I, I can totally relate to what you're saying and 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 it really is part of good sleep hygiene if you're not doing this you're not going to sleep well and dude we didn't even talk about routers i mean think about people in subdivisions that have high bandwidth fiber optic you know signaling and, and and emfs flying through their homes now yeah. Oh, it's so bad. And, and you know, the cellular damage aside, it's been proven in peer-reviewed studies that Wi-Fi, 4G, 5G, it interferes with melatonin production. You're not going to sleep better. Turn your Wi-Fi off before you go to bed, at least. Are you using therapeutic peptides? Are you a new user, maybe an advanced user? Maybe you're considering starting peptides. Highly recommend going to the link right below, the peptidescourse.com forward slash 10 dash mistakes and download my PDF and learn what not to do before starting therapeutic peptides. Dude, it's crazy to think, you know, my friend and, you know, Ben Greenfield or whatever, you know, he lives in the wild up in Washington and he has it switched, you know, hard line. So he can just turn the box off at night. So they have no EMFs. Now, obviously if you live in a major city and you're in a suburb, you know, even if you're out in the wild, you really can't do that. You have to literally be living in isolation to be able to do that. But it, it really is true. It makes you wonder like who is behind turning us into Autobots. Yeah. Because it seems like that's where it's going. I mean, it's like, cause really, you know, cause smart people have said to me, you know, when I, when I, I was, I just lecture, I don't do a lot of speaking, but I was just at the biohacker conference two weeks ago in Vegas. And, you know, I had really smart, person two people actually that came up to me at the end of my lecture and were talking to me like dude love what you have to say but like what do you do if you live in blank and it's like 
you can be as proactive as all get out. But if you live in New York City or Los Angeles or Miami, I mean, come on, man. Like, that's what they were saying. It was like, fuck, I can't escape in any way. Yeah, it's so true. You can't get well in the same environment that made you sick. You can make some changes. But if you're living in these major cities in, in big apartment blocks, you're always going to have an issue. You know, if you're you're living in an apartment in New York City and you've got, <laughs> your phone, you've got everyone's Wi-Fi coming in through every angle and you've got all that pollution, you're just going to be, you know, subjecting yourself to, to everyone else's bad hygiene. Bro, um, I think only, I, yeah. I, this is my opinion, but I think that the system will collapse at some point and we will all have to go back to understanding what you're talking about. Ancestral living yeah, communities, eco-friendly places, farms, whatever you want to call it. But dude, it's not sustainable. None of this is sustainable. It's not. I mean, I mean, we, we don't even have any idea. I mean, you can read Furstenberg's book. All of you guys, I've talked about it a million times, you know, electric rainbow, read it. But I mean, we don't even really have second, even we have no second order awareness and no third order awareness of what any of these EMF, you know, dissonant waves are doing to our biology. Other than, like you said, there's thousands of peer reviewed studies that tells how harmful it is to biological health. So, I mean, we can only extrapolate, you know, for humans right now, because it's what are we in like the second, third decade of you know, Wi-Fi and cell phones and stuff like that. But bro, we both know it's not good. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's definitely going that way. And it's, um, yeah, it's scary when you say it, you know, like we're going, going through this sort of, you know, dronization and, and, you know, every, everyone sort of just, <laughs> kind of yeah, it's so bad, but yeah, we're, it's going to go back to ancestral living. So let's start, let's everyone start practicing it now. So we're all, yeah, um, well, I mean, it's true, but, 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 you know, that's why you're here. I mean, it, you know, this, I, I, you know, I'm not uh, people, know that this is not conspiracy theory and tinfoil maybe yeah. three years ago when i started talking about these things people thought it was but i mean you know what's happened in the last two years hello it's not like but people do have to start being more proactive and that's what i'm saying is like you know that's why i have people like you come on my show and talk about this but dude i'm serious like how much longer do we really have of living in this quote unquote you know ultra modern postmodern, technologic you know or, or, or sophisticated, you know, through wireless means and stuff, society. I mean, I really, you know, again, and I don't want people to be in fear because obviously I'm a very resonant being, but like it is going to collapse, Andy. I mean, there's no possible way that this can continue. Now, I mean, I'm not saying doom and gloom zombie apocalypse, but, you know, very clearly people are going to have to change the way they live. It's that yeah, simple. Absolutely. Yeah, they, they, they're going to have to. And you can you can start seeing a lot of the, the more extreme biohackers in, in, in this space um, get their biological age tested. And yeah. by using some of these basic hacks, blocking blue light, managing EMF, drinking the right structured water, grounding, yeah. you yeah. know, there's 45, 50 year olds out there that are getting biological ages of 21, 22. On the well, test. that's me. I'm 51 yeah. and true diagnostic. I'm 20.75. There you go. You see, you know, it's, it's a, a firsthand testimonial. It's, it's, it works, this stuff. Good diet, good food, good, good light, low emfs no emfs grounding water and you know it's it's all these different pillars and, and i'm always one to say that you know people can come on and be very specialized in their, their one niche area and say right a good diet that's all you need and you're going to be healthy light hygiene that's all you need you're going to be healthy it's not there's so many different pillars we've got to manage um and light is just one of those diets one of them exercise is one of them right. Earthing grounding is one of them. The, the type of water we drink is one of them. EMF management, mental health, things like that is it all comes into into one. And until we start addressing small um, portions of each of those, we're we're, we're never going to be our optimized selves. And you know, it's one of those things. Again, I keep referring back to diet because that's how I got into all this stuff with light. I changed my diet many years ago. Is that you don't realize how bad your situation is until you make the change and start living under the new change and then you'll see like wow yeah i was sick i was not well so you know that's that's the way it works it's it's totally true and i'll add to that you know not people like you and me but most people truly don't even value their health until they don't have their health yeah until it's taken away and then they want to make all these steps and they want to go through nine week hacks and cycles and boot camps it's like no dude like how long did it take you to fuck yourself up right like yeah. now you have to like start talking about like okay now you have to unfuck yourself it's like a, a process you know 
you got, you know, it, it took you 17 years to become obese. You're not going to get thin, lean and thinner again in seven weeks or seven months. It's a process, right? So, yeah. you know, people have to look at things, baby steps, right? You know, you know, how do you eat an elephant, right? One bite at a time. But, but the reality is, is that again, again, going back to this, and I want you to comment on one last thing, cause we didn't talk about it, but we covered a lot of amazing stuff. And again, your knowledge level is profoundly deep and your insights are awesome. Um, you, people just have to take this serious, bro. This is not you and me as like fringe guys, you know, talking about red light and Amber. And I mean, this is about as serious as it can possibly be. And, and it leads me into what I want you to talk about. And obviously I'm an expert in, you know, hormone optimization and that's kind of my claim to fame and background, but bro, you know, I personally didn't even start putting this together until three years ago. I started talking to Dr. Anthony J, you know, who wrote the book Estro Generation and is a genius with all this stuff. And he was like, bro, the reason that people are not fertile anymore is because of blue light. Mm -hmm. He's like, what, when you go think about what is happening, when you go to an office and you're sitting in a cubicle for eight to 10 hours a day, five days a week, you know, it, you know, add on infinitum. Like, why do you think people can't procreate? Like, why do you think the birth rate is the lowest it's ever been on planet earth right now? Yeah. Because again, it's what you're saying. And so comment, like how bad is blue light disrupting, you know, you already talked about circadian rhythm, but it's literally decimating hormonal uh, life cycles and, and, and hormonal, the endocrine system is being destroyed by blue light. Yeah, but pretty much everything on there. And it's interesting. I've done a couple of um, specific podcasts on fertility and blue light. Um, if, if people Google my name and fertility and blue light, you'll be able to lock in and, and, and watch those sort of hour long episodes just on it. And it's, it's interesting because there's a few, I'll throw a few facts out there as well, just on it. So there's, there's been, these are all peer reviewed studies that are all um, on our website if anyone wants to read into them a bit more. But one study showed that people that were exposed to blue light um, and also went to bed after 11 o'clock, okay? So they, they had two groups, one that was exposed to blue light and went to bed after 11, and ones that went to bed before 11 and weren't exposed to blue light. The group that went to bed after 11 and were exposed to blue light had 63% more sperm antibodies in their, um, or anti-sperm anti antibodies in their blood the next morning than the group that weren't exposed to blue light um, and went to bed earlier. So if you're going to bed later and you're exposing yourself to blue light, you're going to have half the sperm count of someone that wears blue light blocking glasses and goes to bed at a, a correct time in line with their circadian rhythms. So that's fascinating. Testosterone levels drop in males with um, exposure to, to artificial blue light. In women, breast cancer is a huge issue, right? People think that these cancers are caused by UV light. They're actually nothing could be further from the truth. UV causes the damage. And then the absence of blue light after sunset repairs that damage. Okay. It's almost like saying cholesterol is the cause of heart disease. It's not, it's inflammation. Cholesterol is doing its job. It's the same UV light isn't causing the cancers. It's the lack of absence of blue light after sunset that's not allowing us to heal. So breast cancers can increase. Um, polycystic ovary syndrome, major condition in women at the moment. And Maybe. that is caused by, um, and like basically what the, the area in, um, the reproductive area in women is a very high cellular turnover, um, area. And what happens at that junction is incredible amounts of melatonin is produced there because melatonin isn't just a sleep hormone, it's an incredibly powerful antioxidant. And that antioxidant clears out the reactive oxygen species and allows proper cellular repair and, and autophagy and apoptosis at those regions. When you expose yourself to blue light constantly after sunset, what can't you produce more of? Melatonin. So those areas become, you know, those high cellular turnover areas become a major issue and you can lead to then lack of repair, lack of um, cellular clearance, which leads to, you know, maybe ovarian cancers, polycystic ovary injury, yep. syndrome, and, you know, poorly functioning reproductive health. So, you know, just to give that high level sort of overview of what it is, um, it all comes back to blue light and its disruption on the hormonal system and most potently melatonin because melatonin is this incredibly powerful antioxidant. Yeah. 
I mean, bro, again, man, beautiful. I mean, uh, it's kind of mind blowing. Like I said, like we could go back and forth on this all night. Yeah. It, it, it still though, to me is like, I'm, I'm really glad I had you on the show here tonight because if I can do anything, it's bring experts, you know, like you to really push, you know, into the quote unquote mainstream, um, the awareness of, of how important and critical this is to maintaining health as we move forward. I mean, again, you know, we talked about, you know, is it likely that we'll probably collapse? Probably. But in the meantime, up until then, until we move to these ancestral farms and eco-friendly systems where we still are living in this, you know, whatever this modernization biobot, you know, pre-singularity bullshit realm of existence is like, you have to take these steps. All right. Let me, uh, let me throw your guys stuff up there. Um, so if somebody watches this show tonight and like, dude, Andy's the man. How do I, you know, get a hold of him? How can I interview him? How can I bring him on my podcast? What what, what would you have them do? Yeah, um, reach out either by my Instagram. You've got it, got it there. I'm always uh, always happy for, to have a chat on there. I'm, I'm not like daily active on Instagram because uh, he is the CEO of his company. Just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> um and you can also contact us through the website as well you know just a contact me page just drop a note there and, and they'll make sure i get it and you know if there's sort of people want to want to speak to me personally then I'm, I'm happy to speak to them um it's not an issue i'm not precious about that that kind of stuff um so yeah that's the best place to find me um if they you know pun punch my name into google um there's probably over 100 podcasts i've been on talking about different areas of blue light red light and and emf so um people can um can find me there um i've just finished speaking at the um the holistic health um sorry holistic sleep summit which um which is now um just gone live and the emf summit which is currently oh, you were in the emf summit oh that's so yeah. awesome i, love, I know so, yeah. all those guys that put that on that's amazing they, they, yeah. they blast me and email me that's so cool that you were there okay cool yeah yeah yeah, yeah. nick um nick pino is a good good friend of mine I've yeah, nick, awesome. he's interviewed me and um, yeah, there's some big, big names on that. Joe McCola and, yep. um, you know, a few, few others. So yeah, it was an honor to speak about blue light on that as well. And, um, yeah, people are, haven't signed up yet. Get signing up for this one or the next one, but yeah. There's, are you, are you going to be in the States at any point in time? I mean, can you even leave freaking Australia still and, and fly out or you guys can fly out now, right? As of a month ago. Yeah. So we were banned for, it was illegal for us to leave, um, for two years. So yeah, we can leave now. I'm going to Greece in a few weeks for five weeks just to Good get for you, man. out That's of awesome. here. And yeah, yeah the, the states is on the list because a lot of our um, a lot of our partners are in in the states, yeah, um, in the LA. So um, yeah, we will be there. Oh, so yeah, so um, so I'll uh, so when we get off this, I'll, I'll give you my number and you can WhatsApp me so we know each other and yeah. stuff like that personally. But uh, dude, epic man! Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your knowledge. So guys, remember uh, support the amazing folks that do come on the Jay Campbell podcast. I mean, Andy is absolutely a beacon of knowledge. Uh, go to his website, blueblocks.com. Uh, I will have an affiliate code to give you guys a 15% discount off of your purchase. I don't have it yet right now because we're getting it set up, but don't worry. It will be in the link to this show and it will be all over social media very soon. Um, brother, again, I appreciate you coming on. So again, guys, support. Go to his, uh, if you want to uh, podcast with him or reach out to him, you can connect with him on IG. And of course, go to his website, buy their amazing products. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We'll see all of you guys very soon.